Hello, Ben Akko from the International Institute for Sustainable Development. You have been involved in the study for climate adaptation and uh, climate change adaptation in ICTs. What have been the in most interesting results? Um, there has been a number of results that we have um, been able to come up with. Well, not results per se, but um, the study from the study has emerged a few um, important things. Uh, initial findings, we'll say, but maybe to give a preamble to what the study is. Um, the study is exploring the nexus of ICTs and climate change with a specific focus on adaptation in Africa. Um, and our, our study focuses on three countries, Uganda, Malawi, and Senegal. Um, in, in Senegal, we're exploring the, op uh, the option of uh, knowledge networks and how information can be shared amongst people and stakeholders, the different stakeholders that work in the adaptation field um, in Senegal, uh, but more specifically exploring uh, the platform Knowledge at, uh, Africa Adapt, which is an adaptation platform. Um, but not just looking at the tool itself, but exploring the relationships that happen beneath the use of the tool, uh, the interpersonal relationships and, and those aspects that make for the tool to become effective and, and for it to work. Uh, Malawi, uh, we're looking at uh, the use of ICTs for water management. Uh, and in Uganda, we're trying to explore uh, how ICTs are used in crop production. Uh, so this is what the study is all about. Uh, our initial findings so far is that in, uh, at the national level, uh, the policy document that helps countries to define what the adaptation actions should be, which are their national adaptation program of action documents, uh, clearly has very limited mentions of ICTs in them. Um, and and this, this is an important finding because we think that for countries to deploy programs that help, uh, that in which ICTs can be used to help them for adaptation, they would have to or they should include um, ICTs very clearly within those plans of actions. Uh, the second thing that we found also is the fact that uh, within the communication lines uh, between countries and the different stakeholders that there are various levels of communications. So governments, uh, for instance, would have a certain stakeholder group that it communicates with and then at the local level there are communication patterns that exist but the intercommunication between these different groups just does not exist. So uh, local communities find it hard to communicate the adaptation issues or you know, climate change issues to this sector or this group, uh, uh, this other level of communications, um, government level, so to speak. Uh, one of the findings that we uh, have, have, have uh, come up, that has emerged from the study, is the fact that ICTs within the adaptation space is very broad. Um, so you're talking about meteorological systems, and you're talking about satellite systems for monitoring, early warning systems, down to the use of mobile phones for disseminating information. So there's a broad range of ICTs in, in this particular space. So I guess um, those would be initial responses to basically what we've done so far. Thank you very much. Okay.